Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. And it seems like we didn't watch all this or I didn't save it. So we'll go through it again because, hey, why not? It's awesome. So here we go. Robbing a train again get you feeling nostalgic? Damn straight. We must have hit the Shale Express a dozen times back in the day. <laughs> oh, that keeper never got old. Almost got us killed when they smartened up and started using Outriders to chase us. Never was a man of them could keep up with you on a vulture, Jimmy. Just add it to the fun. How the hell you got a job as Marshal after all that? I'll never know. Ladies and gentlemen, each night I bring you the news in the most fair and balanced manner possible. But tonight I have a commentary. Some have asked me what the difference is between our leader, Emperor Mansk, and the traitor, Jim Raynor. They point out that Mansk rebelled against the government of his youth and came to power through the use of violence and subversion. Why is it wrong for Jim Raynor to rebel in similar fashion? There is a difference. When Emperor Mansk began his revolution, there was no threat hanging over humanity. James Raynor is waging his revolution while we are at war with two alien races. James Raynor, have you no conscience? Shouldn't you fall in line, putting your petty complaints aside as we struggle for humanity's very survival against this alien menace? Everyone's a critic. It's actually a shitty argument because we did have an alien menace whenever... Um Dick face was rebelling. Just saying. Um. Well, according to them, we haven't talked to the adjutant yet, so let's. User status criminal. Oh, that's right. Jim, let me in. Yeah, Josh. yeah, we've already done that. Mike. My God, you can't be serious. He did that. Lord have mercy. <laughs> All right, uh, armory, we need to go get some upgraded. Um, diamondbacks? You know, I probably will never use those again. Medics. Cheaper heals. Medics are useful. I already have that one. Extra range on the Reapers. I like Reapers, so we'll do that. Um, all right, Horner. I've been looking for an encryption expert so we can access the Colonel Orlick. Yeah, right. we're just gonna skip through that because we've already seen it, and got a lot of options. Uh. We still need to access the adjutant we retrieved from Tarsonis. Our old mercenary associate, Colonel Orlin, is an expert in Confederate code decryption. If our intel's right, he should still be based at the Murk Haven at Dead Man's Port. He's not very trustworthy, but he's our best bet of breaking that encryption. There's a rare gas on Belshia, the Protoss Skull, the Breath of Creation. They think it'd be a gift from their gods. <laughs> we call it Tarazine, and it'd be worth a fortune to the right bidder. Of course, those Protoss will kill us if they catch us on their holy ground. Or at least they'll try. Looks like we're doing that one. Here we go. Pretty? Much prettier than Redstone, yeah? I don't much like fighting Protoss if I can avoid it. Not just any old Protoss. Fanatics call the Tal Darim. They believe the Tarazin is sacred, a gift from the Zelnaga. If these Tal Darim bring in their air power, they're gonna hammer us. Swan, get the Goliath schematics loaded at the factory. If their anti air missiles are still any good, we might just pull this off. All right, cowboy, I'll get the Goliath schematics loaded so we can build more. How do we get to the Tarazin? See those altars? Taldari Mystic set him up to collect the Tarasin. We just need to grab it. Well, our SCVs will be able to haul the Tarasin. We just gotta keep him protected. 
With any luck, we can pick up what we need before the Tom Dereem find us. All right, let's get to it. Just so you know, that's not how it's going to happen. We're going to just build everything and murder them all. Why? Because who run Barter Town? All right, here we go. All right. Ooh. Oh, no. That showed me the money. That's the old one. I wish it still worked. Here are the coordinates for the Terrazine sites, brother. We should make our lives a little easier. Our SCVs can pick up Terrazine canisters and move them. It'll take them a while to disconnect the canister, so make sure you watch out for them. Huh. So how do we want to do this? I think what we do first is we rack up anti-air. And I don't know, maybe we just build a shitload of Goliaths? So we can have that going. While we get another vehicle site going, and we can swap them like the pros do. Do I have one of those already? I do not. So we'll build one of those. Add on complete. Build a couple of these. Um, we're gonna run out of room. SCV ready. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Bad news. Supply depot. Um, SCV ready. we are gonna have to take yeah. like some some high ground here. Yeah. Anakin style. Yeah, yeah. Because we're going to need more room. Add on complete. A lot more room. Yeah, what? Right, let's make sure this doesn't get caught. We'll just keep you there. Where do we send that dude? Huh? Alright, you... Rockabilly one of these down, thank you. This land was sacred to the Talbarim before Terrans ever reached the stars. You must depart immediately. Hold on now. We just need some of this gas here. We'll be long gone before you know it. No. You shall not defile the breath of creation. Tyler warriors, execute all those who would desecrate our altars. The Protoss are mobilizing, sir. Looks like they're gonna go after our SCVs when we harvest the Terrazine. I suggest we only harvest one side at a time and run with a heavy escort. That's our main exit. That's the negatory. It's blocked. No, you're trapped. Cause these What's don't freaking auto loader or auto lower. Build, build, build. Add on complete. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terrazine altar. Mm. Taldarim are sealing off the Terrazine altar so we can't get at it. If they keep it up, we won't be able to collect enough. That is unacceptable. Upgrade complete. 
All right, looks like we're moving faster. All right, there's our hunter killer team. Wouldn't mind having a bunch of uh, little buggies of death, but. Ooh, we're gonna take some damage here. Kill those guys first. Yep, yeah, no. Gonna get wiped out. So Goliath's not that great. Big job, huh? Huh? By the numbers, boys. Goliath online. Goliath really wish I had the uh the mixed tech lab. This better be good. Let's go get that. Bunch of Marines. Go ahead, Ooh, look at base. Additional Additional supply depots required. All right, Bob, what are you Additional doing? Additional supply depots required. You need to be building these forever. Additional supply depots required. Upgrade complete. Build me supply depots. Just gobs and gobs and gobs of supply depots. We'll protect them later. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terrazine altar. No, they're not. I've got the first canister on hook, sir. I'll take it to the nearest command center. Good job. Assistance required. Good job. That's the first canister field. All right, so we need you. To go secure this area. Yeah, yeah. Move it. With a slew of bunkers. Yeah, we'll take this out. Look, if they're going to have unsecured buildings here, we're going to murder them. That's just the way it's going to be. Alright. Hook me up with all the G's. And all the A's. Uh, let's make our new rally point down here for the Goliaths. You got it. Ciao. Base is under attack. Eh, not that under attack. We'll set up some towers and stuff. And that is why we have hooked up extra buildings. This better be good. Big job, huh? Yep. Yep. A 
Ooh, this is an expensive army. Let me tell you what. Yep, here they come. Yeah, we saw movement up here. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terezin altar. I don't think I'm going to be able to stop that one. I don't have a route there. Maybe I will. Like I said, maybe. There we are. Uh, I don't know. He's going to get it. Oh, we saved it. Cool. Kind of surprised that happened. A save like that's quite impressive. Build me more. You are nowhere near done, Jim. Yes, sir. In the rear with the gear. I'm going. Armed and ready. Okay. We'll let them, uh, ooh, yay. Let them go and, and bolster our defenses. I love that these two guys are like, we will fuel the economy of the conquest. And it's just two of them just, just working their little beady hearts out. Well, we've got, we've got to find the relics, so... You know, gotta move out. See, there's a relic right there. They don't even have charge lots here. Come on. that warning the Taldarim are sealing off a Terezin altar think so huh actually you don't go that way Ooh, cause that way. We got a little hunter killer team over here. Looks like they're getting ready to come over here. Yeah, it's not gonna be good for you. Pull back. Ooh, that's gonna wipe them out. We can't break that. Pull back. Let's just fall back. It's a good thing they don't have blink stalkers. You could tell they wanted to chase. 
Uh, good. Reinforcements. I don't know that I'll be able to take out their base, because that looks fairly heavily fortified, and my units are not. Of course, I am making some fairly useless units. I don't know if you know this, but the Goliaths, they're not that good. Like a marine bio ball of just death marchers would be better. Just a shitload of medics and marines. They'll make short work of them. Gotta find that other research item. There it is. Wonderful. So maybe we switch to that. Maybe we switch to Marine Medic. Are off a altar. This be good. Mm, they're not going to succeed. What they don't know is that this is my Taldarine altar place. Assistance required. None shall be rendered. You have to figure that out on your own, boys. That's a lot of Goliaths. It is kind of a dick move. We're like, hey, we're going to come in here and borrow some of this gas. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're going to murder everybody here. But no witnesses. So we've, we've pushed them back to here. Should we try to break the ramp? They have defender's advantage. And we have to push this ramp hard. No, they're gonna they're gonna wreck us. It's alright. All right, I'm going to admit, I secretly wish they said Glyon offline when they died. Look, an Artosis pylon. Hold the ass down the ramp. You guys are just wrecked. Oop, shit. Speaking of wrecked. Is under attack. There we are. Um, alright, so let's just go ahead and start grabbing some of these things. I should have some, some workers that aren't working. from two places at once. Sure, it's going to be harder to keep the tall Darim off our backs, but the quicker we're done here, the sooner we can get off this rock. The doctor is in. This better be good. How about we go for three? Who wants, uh... 
And then who are these guys? Incoming transmission. You shall not steal the breath of creation so easily. Careful. They're sending their ships to take out your SCVs. Shoot them down quick, or we're finished. Good luck. Armed and ready. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty easy, I hate to tell you. Three down. You're doing great. Keep it up. I kinda hate that we're like destroying these altars though. It's kind of a dick move. Oh. You rang? I forgot these guys didn't have a rally point. Huh. Must be an emergency. Go ahead, um, let's just marine it up. That's over half the canisters you wanted. Okay. We're gonna do a trifecta attack over here. Go, go, go! You want a piece of me, boy? Actually, no, I can just do that. Bad news? Yep. Well, I mean, it ain't good news. I wouldn't say it's bad so much as it's just news, you know what I mean? That's cool and all, but you got work to do. Get one, but you won't get them all. You want a piece of me, boy? Armed and ready. We have pissed them off pretty good, though. Let's do this. Man, some Vikings would be really useful right now. Yes, sir. Smart thing would be to send a pincer attack, which I bet they will. We're just going for the closeout right now. Affirmative. Keep your There's the safety safety. line. They won't break this. You gonna give me orders? All right, we're done. Mission accomplished. Yeah, we're just that good. You and your radar sure can walk the walk. We just need one more canister. You were saying? That's the last canister. I think we've outstayed our welcome, boys. Fly! Fly away, eagle! Fly! Yeah. I don't get achievements because I'm a cheater, McPeter. That's alright. I don't want achievements. I want story. Sir, I received an encrypted transmission from an untraceable source. It claims that Tosh here was part of a classified operation called Project Shadowblade. They used Jorium and Terrazine to enhance ghost powers. It's true. We are called Spectres. Next generation ghosts. And you were going to tell me all this when? We all have our secrets, Mr. Rena. Doesn't mean I'm any threat to you. Maybe not. But whoever sent this message could be. Matt, 
Any way to verify the transmission? No, sir. But it does end with... I'll be in touch soon. It's Minsk. Trying to turn us against each other. Don't let him. I'll let it lie for now. At least till I find out who sent this transmission. But I'll be keeping an eye on you, Tosh. You can try. That would be Nova reaching out, making contact, saying hey. Still don't trust me, brother. Until you decide. Eat nothing to discuss. <laughs> Off duty at last. Let's get down to business. Oh. Look at that goofy looking dude. That Tosh is a whack job, Jimmy. Spends all his time muttering and playing around with those damn dolls of his. Well, I need someone to balance out your sophistication and good manners. The guy ain't riding ahead, brother. I can appreciate some good, honest craziness. But that guy, he's got something broke inside. I repeat, death toll is in the thousands. A Dominion weapons plant exploded hours ago, causing a chain reaction that has taken out several housing complexes in this working class neighborhood. Dominion security forces claim it was an act of terror by the notorious Jim Rayner, but our own investigations suggest that the plant must have been infiltrated by forces with sophisticated stealth technologies. It begs the question, could some of the Dominion's ghost operatives have gone rogue? For UNN, this is Kate Lockwell reporting from the Core World Nefor 2. Uh-huh. Still don't try. We know who did that. Laboratory. Protoss crystal sample recovered by me. Place the crystal in saline for storage. Since it has increased 553% in the last 12 hours. Where does it get the energy or raw materials for that? I have a terrible suspicion that it's connected. Or connecting to the ship somehow. If Swan suspects, he'll drop it out of an airlock, and that would be a tragedy. The sample should lead to a huge breakthrough for the Raiders. Just have to be careful. If there any sign that it's harmed the Hyperion itself, I'll destroy the crystal myself. Mm. more armor more weapons what I really want to get to is that I mean that's useful this is more useful because it just insta builds these guys so that's what we'll be going for I've run a few tests on the terrazine gas like you asked it's clearly related to Vespian gas, but there are some very exotic organics added into the mix. Any guesses what it's used for? Well, it would definitely affect brain chemistry, so it could be used as some kind of drug or stimulant, I suppose. Drugs, huh? That's just wonderful. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get high. Let's go to the armory. I wonder why I don't see, like, any of the characters other than the fire bat. We don't have a Goliath stomping around like we're supposed to. It bothers me. I don't really use fire bats that much. Um, we're gonna do that one. We're gonna do that one. Swarm missiles and increased life. And more people in bunkers. There we go. Let's talk to old Matt. What do you make of that encrypted message, Matt? I honestly don't know, sir. If Tosh really is one of these specters, it's clear Manx would try to ruin your partnership. But Tosh isn't telling us everything. If we're going to win this revolution... I know. We have to be sure of our allies. All right, we are going to wrap it up here. Let's make sure we save so we don't have to go th Wait, what? Are oh, this the same numerous right mercenaries we've seen already? Yes, okay. 
All right, so we're going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, throw them in the comment section below. And, of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button and YouTube like knowing to get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time.